Since 1917, we've enjoyed a AAA credit rating, but Moody's Investor Service tonight assigned a negative risk outlook to that status, warning a downgrade is possible if this newfound fiscal discipline weakens. Wall Street reacted less than enthusiastically to the news that the government has avoided default. It's not that the move was unwelcome, but some economists worry the promised spending cuts may make job creation in this fragile economy more difficult. This is not a jobs creating bill. This is a deficit reduction bill. And, and those are in conflict. That's why Ohio's two U.S. senators who voted together in support of today's debt ceiling increase are also in agreement that with it out of the way, job creation needs to be priority one. I met with our Democrat senator this morning about regulatory relief, for instance. It's a huge burden on small businesses all around Ohio. It's time for us to now shift to how to actually reduce the cost of doing business in Ohio so that we can create more jobs. And those incentives, Sheriff Brown argues, can be paid for through reforming our existing tax code. Now we've got to turn our focus on job creation exclusively. And one of the first things we should do is close the tax loopholes for if you close a plant down in Garfield Heights and move to China, you can deduct the cost of the move. And those kinds of things we've got to fix. A lot of that will fall to a bipartisan committee that will be charged with tackling the tax code as well as entitlements, reforms that will find those on the committee dealing with the most politically charged issues in government. Polling data shows people want compromise. They don't want to see cuts in Social Security or Medicare. They don't want to see taxes increased unless it's on somebody else. And therein lies the political problem that everybody has to deal with. Well, what they won't have to deal with, though, in the high-power political year of 2012 will be the debt ceiling again. That won't come up until 2013. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.